Hello everyone, welcome to Reactify Labs. Today we will talk about a problem called find k pairs with smallest sum. Okay. Uh, so the problem statement says that we are given two um, integer arrays. Okay. So in this case, if you see, we have nums1 and we have nums2. Okay. And we are also provided with k. So what we have to do is we have to return from this, like take one number from nums1 and one number from nums2 all the combinations such that this sum x comma y is minimum right so k smallest numbers so for example if you see the output for this is 1 and 2 the smallest sum is 3 there is no sum which is smaller than 3 in that case right next is 1 comma 4 so the sum is 5 nothing is smaller than uh, 5 other than 3 so after 3 it's 5 and after that it's 1 comma 6 okay which is 7 let's say if the k was 4 then the next number would have been um, 7 comma 2 right because next sum is 9 right so this is what we have to do we have to find combinations of sums basically so the combination of numbers such that one number x comes from this nums 1 one number y comes from nums 2 and their sum is minimum okay it should always be minimum okay um, so yeah k basically k smallest numbers k smallest sums okay so um, we have a few things to catch here first let's talk about the constraints the constraint says um, the length of nums1 array okay is going to be maximum 10 to the power 5 worst case similarly for nums2 it's going to be 10 to the power 5 okay so uh, first uh, thing which comes to our mind is see we can iterate over we can iterate over nums1 we can iterate over nums2 right obviously first we will sort them uh, but actually a uh, problem statement says yes they are already sorted so we don't need to sort them so we can iterate and we can keep doing this like take one number from this one uh, nums1 take one number from nums2 and just do everything do the calculation and all right this is something we can do but the catch is first of all 10 to the power 5 so in the worst case it would be 10 to the power 5 into 10 to the power 5 which is 10 to the power 10 so this is beyond our limit okay limit as in we cannot have uh, um, like even o n time complexity in this like o n as in o n in this o n in this so this will be o n square and this will be 10 to the power 10 which is uh, which will give us tle time limit exceeded okay uh, for TLE to not come, our um, time complexity or this number of iterations should be at least 10 to the power 8 to be safe. Okay. If lower than this, then good. So basically, uh, the way to check is if the constraint is 10 to the power 5, try to do it in n log n. Okay. If the constraint is like 10 to the power 3, then n square is fine. Okay. This is what we do. And if it's 10 to the power n, then usually the constraint will be like, um, uh, 10, 15, 20, like this, okay? This is what uh, general, um, like, uh, the complexity of algorithm goes with the constraints, okay? So, this is also a hint to us, like, uh, if it's 10 to the power 5, because it's given that it's 10 to the power 5, so it's a hint that try to find the solution in n log n, okay? n log n and uh, this, I'm assuming for the sake of simplicity, the size of both is n. Okay, great. Now, uh, what can we do with n log n? Okay, there is another catch here. If, you know, if you have to do something like k smallest or k largest, if the problem statement says something like this, remember we have to use a heap. Okay, and heap implementation is given by priority q. Right? So, in this case, if you see, we have to give k smallest. So, for k smallest, we will use a priority queue, priority queue, right? And what kind of heap will you use, max heap or min heap? So, we have to give k smallest, right? So, we have to find the smallest k numbers. So, we will take min heap. So, that if we take out something from the top, it will be the smallest. Always the smallest number will be at the top, right? So, uh, what all things did we gather from here? First thing is, due to the constraints, we cannot have 
n square algorithm okay next is we will use min heap right great this much we know now the question is how are we going to use min heap right how are we going to use min heap if we have to take all the combinations of sums from this um, these two numbers then it's not possible anyway we'll have to iterate over both of them right so this is not possible basically like iterating over all the numbers is not possible right okay now let's talk about the constraints of k so k can be 10 to the power 4 okay k can be 10 to the power 4 so this is something which we can use how so if we have let's say a for loop okay if instead of this for loop going to n square if it goes only to k then we are good right because n square is 10 to the power 10 but in worst case k is only 10 to the power 4 right so we can do this we can try to find something which will stop only at k because obviously even though we have like 10 to the power 10 numbers we only need to find 10 to the power 4 smallest right we only have to find k smallest so we are good with this so we we don't need to iterate over everything we will iterate over only k elements okay how are we going to do it how are we going to do it so let's see what we can do here mm. K, 10 to the power 4 okay so this is a very interesting um, strategy of solving this so first what we can do is see if you see here something like if we just take all these numbers take all the numbers from n1 take all the numbers from nums1 okay and only take first number from nums2 then what will happen we will get 1 2 we will get 1 uh, sorry 1 2 7 2 and 11 2 right okay that's fine uh, not an issue then we will insert these numbers in uh, our this um, priority queue min heap so what will we do we will just insert these along with their uh, sums okay so basically what is this if you see from nums1 it is 0 from nums2 it's 0 index from here it's 1 comma 0 and here it's 2 comma 0 right this is what it is so in the min heap if we just insert the sum like we insert 3 along with 0 comma 0 then we insert 9 along with 1 comma 0 then we insert 13 along with uh, 2 comma 0 right so this is our min heap and it's ordered in such a way that uh, the sum is uh, at the first and it's sorted on the basis of the sum right it's fine uh, i think uh, nobody has any problem with this till this point now what we can do is we will take out the first one from the priority queue we will take out the top element from the min heap and after taking the top element from the min heap so we know that we already have 0 0 right we already have 1 0 we know this right but we do not have 0 1 right so what we will do is we will start iterating over the like this we will start incrementing this one which we have not done yet right so now that this number has come out from the queue so 3 0 0 okay so since this is the smallest because it was at the top it was the smallest so this one will be inserted in our array right not this which numbers made up this so 1 comma 2 is in our answer now okay next now that we have to do 0 1 so 0 is still 1 right at index 0 the number is 1 but what is at index 1 right so this 0 0 will now change to 0 comma 1 at index 0 the number is still if you see uh, at index 0 the number is uh, 1 and at index 2 the number is uh, sorry index 1 number is 4 so index 0 number is 1 index 1 number is 4 right so if we do this then what will we do after this we will add these numbers and insert so adding these numbers will make up 5 and 5 will be inserted with 0 comma 1 right so here we will insert 5 with 0 comma 1 right because 5 is the smallest so 5 will come at the top now next time what will happen when we remove the smallest when we remove something from the top this 5 will be removed right so this 5 will come up along with 0 comma 1 and since it has come from the top this will again be in our answer like this so it's going to be um, 
वन कॉमा टू अलॉन्ग आफ्टर दैट इट वॉज वन कॉमा फोर राइट सो नाउ अगेन वी विल इंक्रीमेंट दिस जीरो कॉमा वन विल बिकम जीरो कॉमा टू एंड जीरो कॉमा टू इज नाउ जीरो इज स्टिल वन टू इज नाउ सिक्स राइट सो दिस विल बी वन एंड टू इज सिक्स एंड द सम इज सेवन सो सेवन विल कम अलॉन्ग विथ जीरो कॉमा टू एंड सिंस फाइव इज आउट नाउ सेवन इज इंसर्टेड सो वेन सेवन इज इंसर्टेड इट विल गो विथ जीरो कॉमा टू राइट एंड अगेन सिंस सेवन इज स्मॉलेस्ट अमॉन्ग नाइन सेवन नाइन थर्टीन सो सेवन विल बी एट द टॉप नेक्स्ट वेन वी टेक आउट समथिंग फ्रॉम द प्रायोरिटी क्यू दिस सेवन विल कम राइट एंड वेन सेवन विल कम इट विल बी लाइक सेवन जीरो टू एंड एट इंडेक्स जीरो एंड टू वट एवर द नंबर्स आर देर इट विल बी इंसर्टेड हियर लाइक वन कॉमा सिक्स एंड सिंस वी हैड टू प्रोवाइड ओनली थ्री लाइक के इज थ्री हियर ओनली थ्री नंबर सो वी हैव आर आंसर हियर राइट सो दिस इज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू नथिंग इट्स जस्ट टेक ऑल नंबर्स फ्रॉम एन वन नम्स वन फर्स्ट नंबर फ्रॉम नम्स टू ओके एंड सम insert in min heap with index okay now take top element from min heap okay and increment second index second index and push back basically so initially what we did was 0 0 went in 0 1 went in 0 2 went in like 0 comma n went in right next what happens is when 0 0 comes out right because obviously 0 0 would be the smallest we do not know about others but 0 0 is going to be the smallest right so when 0 0 comes out next thing next thing which insert will be um actually uh, there is a mistake instead of 0 1 it's 1 0 right all from the first one 1 0 2 0 until n 0 okay still 0 0 will be the smallest when 0 0 comes out the next thing that will be inserted is 0 comma 1 now we have to compare if you see again 1 comma 0 is going to be smaller than 2 comma 0 because it's sorted if you see because the numbers are sorted this one is constant 2 is constant so anything which is added to 2 if 1 is added 7 is added 11 is, is added so this will all be in the sorted order right and even if it's not like in the priority queue is going to be like that in the sorted order so now when when all these are in the priority queue 0 0 will be at the top because it's the minimum now when 0 0 is removed this number will be at the top right okay just assume this we removed 0 0 now this will be at the top right but after removing 0 0 after processing we inserted 0 1 now either this one is smallest or this one is smallest agree right one of these must be the smallest so it it's the nature of the priority queue that it's going to put the smallest one at the top so one of these will be the smallest let's assume for the sake of this discussion that this is the smallest then what happens this one will come out right next which will be the smallest now either this or this right because we don't know we don't know among them so we have to compare so we do not need to do anything priority queue will make either this one or this one the top most element now again when this comes it will reinsert 1 comma 1 right now we don't know which one is smallest right which one is smallest either this is smallest or this is smallest or this is smallest we do not know but what we know is here if you see 1 and 1 are common right 1 and 1 are common so if we compare 0 and 1 index at uh, the number at index 0 and the number at index 1 obviously the number at index 0 uh, is smaller right so obviously this is smaller right but we do not know among these we do not know among these which one is there uh, which one is smaller right so but we do not need to worry about this also this is a good news this we have our priority queue which will take care of that so this is what we are going to do and the good thing is if we have to do k right so if you keep like taking in taking out if let's say sometimes you take it out so it will replace with 0 comma 2 next time let it goes so it will be replaced with 2 comma 1 next time let's say it goes it will be replaced with 1 comma 2 so this replacement and all will continue happening only until k which is 10 to the power 4 right in the worst case if you see what we did was this will be inserted 10 to the power 5 times right so 
this one is 10 to the power 5 that's it that's it nothing else this one is 10 to the power 5 but after that at max so this is one time operation one time okay after that replacing and all this will happen only 10 to the power 4 times so this is basically 10 to the power 5 plus 10 to the power 4 right and since it's 10 to the power 5 basically it is 10 to the power 4 and priority queue log an operation so log of 10 to the power 5 this is our maximum time complexity so as you can see as i told you it has to be maximum and log n but it's not even that it's now k log n right why because we have n elements already in the priority queue right n elements already in the priority queue so insertion and uh, rebalancing and all takes log n time for each element and we have to do this k times right so this is k log n so this is all there was in the explanation of this question although it was a tricky question uh, it's uh, not very straightforward if you try to do it with brute force just using two for loops it will give you a um, time limit exceeded error uh, but if this you follow this approach first you have to make sure of two things first is uh, this one you cannot have this n square and you will have to use minhi because of the term k smallest if it's k smallest or k largest it has to be a heap it has to be a priority queue right either min heap or max heap okay okay so yeah um i hope this um, video gives you a good understanding of this problem and the solution now you know the solution try to code it on your own and if you still fail to code it then uh, have a look at the solution i'll put the code in the description okay so yeah that's all um again if i have to say just see uh, if you observe it you will find out that yes the sorted nature of the arrays can be utilized also as i have written this all numbers from nums1 and then only take one from nums2 you can do even reverse all the numbers from nums2 and only one from nums1 and so when you take out from the priority queue you will have to uh, keep on increasing the uh, second uh, or first index something like that okay so you will figure out okay try to do these two things try to write the code of this on your own and uh, if you are successful okay then try to do it the other way around okay try to change the change this try to change this okay and uh, if you are uh, if you succeed then good if you do not then uh, don't worry it's fine uh, you can look at the solution solution has one of these ways okay one of these ways so i'll put the solution in one of these ways either this one or this one and maybe after you understand the solution you can try the other way okay so this is what you can do um yeah um just just the observation it's just the observation because obviously if the number is smallest then its combination with other smallest number would be the smallest right this is the gist of this question this is what you have to take care of okay so yeah please let me know uh, if you understood this or not or should i try to explain it in more detail i'd be happy to put another video to explain it if uh, you have not already understood it okay so yeah that's all there was in this video thank you for watching please remember to like share and subscribe i will see you in the next one